Hello, my name is Rick Boo. I am the CTE director for Seguin ISD, and I want to speak to you here on Red Ribbon Week about a couple of the myths of drug abuse. Um, often we think of drug abuse being other people or, or maybe not the best students in the school, and, and I want to tell you about my son, Jake. Jake was in the top 10 in his class. He was the editor of the school newspaper, and starting in high school, he started dabbling in drugs, um, started with pot and moved up, uh, and was able to still work as a youth minister in a church. Um, people did not realize the struggles he was going through, but ultimately, his struggle with drugs is what cost him his life. And the other myth that I want to talk to you about is the fact that many people who use drugs think it's only impacting them. And, and that's really what I want to talk to you most about today because it isn't just you who are impacted if you make that choice. Um, Jake had a brother, Josh. Um, his mother, Mindy, and I. We're married for 24 years, and on October 17th of 2009, Jake went to bed and didn't get back up. And the cause of death was an accidental overdose, but in speaking with the doctors, what we found was that his heart was damaged from his previous drug abuse. Uh, we went through rehab with Jake, we went through family interventions, uh, we did the things that we thought would help, but ultimately we weren't able to save him. And I can tell you that within a year of Jake's passing, a marriage of 24 years dissolved, a brother had lost his best friend, and Ultimately, the outcome was that our entire family was destroyed. Uh, Jake's mother and I were divorced. His brother Josh and I haven't spoken for 10 years. And it all happened because of the drug abuse that Jake was going through. It destroyed a family. And so the myth that what you're doing or may be choosing to do only impacts you is just that. It's a myth. It, drug abuse destroys families. And as I look back now, I miss my son. 11 years ago today, we buried Jake. And when I want to talk to him, I can't. And the only thing I have left is I can pull out my phone and I can go to Twitter and the very last conversation I had with my son through Twitter, his last four words are, I love my dad. I would love to be able to hear my son say those words today. Please realize that your choices impact more than just you.